Welcome to the Curve Class A Master Track. I'm David Crossett, I'm the founder of RV Masters. When I bought my first RV, I went to the dealership to test drive it. When I took it home, I didn't know the first thing about how it worked. Um, I had a little bit of a walkthrough, but I really didn't understand a lot of what I needed to to feel confident with my machine. There's a lot of information out there. Um, I searched YouTube, and the truth is, for me, YouTube was a choose your own adventure. I mean, certainly I could find what I needed to out of 10,000 videos, but I really didn't know what I was looking for. I didn't know the order to look in, and I was never positive if I was getting good information. That's what the RV Masters Master Track is. It's the step-by-step -step guide I wish that I had when I got started. And it takes you from an orientation where you maybe don't know anything about RVs, all the way to comfortable and confident as if you've had one for years. The Master Track is based on over two years of research and personal experience. I've logged over 32,000 miles in two years. I've got 1,200 hours on my generator, which means a lot of boondocking. And I've learned that you don't have to have 25 years in the industry or log a billion miles to learn what you need to learn to safely use your RV and get the most fun out of it. Now I've taught this material to people all across the country. You don't need to have a CDL, you don't need to have a whole bunch of technical classes, you don't need to be a mechanic or an engineer, anything like that, in order to use your RV. There's just a few things that you do need to have, a couple of tools in your tool belt to understand how to use your RV, how to be safe about it. Now there's a lot of videos out there. If you want to get into some of the technicalities or adding on accessories or kind of going crazy, you can take that as deep as you want. This series, is about using it, getting out there, knowing what you need to know, and just enough what you need to know to be safe, to have a great time, to get out there and start your RV adventure confident that you know what you're doing. Now I'm gonna walk you through this master track as if you were right here with me, as if I was giving you the face-to-face -face training like I've done for many people. So we're gonna have different camera angles, some are gonna follow me, some are gonna be static like this one. Um, I'm just gonna give you the training as if you're right here. A lot of these skills can be learned through video, but some of these are actually intended for you to go out to a parking lot, set it up the way I'm gonna show you how to set it up, and practice these skills yourself. Um, it's not difficult, it doesn't take too long. Many people just don't know what to practice, so I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna tell you what to practice, what to look for, how to build that skill as if we were just standing together walking through this. So it's gonna be a lot of fun, you're gonna enjoy it. Now, one last thing that I want to tell you, it's the secret to the RV industry, or at least it's one secret in the RV industry. You ready for it? There is no supreme authority in the RV industry. My experience is that people are so different, how they're gonna use the RV is different, their tolerance for risk is different, and therefore, there's very few rules in the RV industry about it has to be done this way, it's the only way, and everybody needs to do it the same. There's very few. Let me give you an example. There's a 50-50 there's a debate as to should I drive with the propane turned on, should I drive with the propane turned off? Well, how I like to approach this and how I'm gonna approach the, the, the master track, I'm gonna tell you what people are saying and then I'm gonna tell you why they're saying it, what the risks are, what the, the benefits and the, the drawbacks are, and then it's up to you to determine how you wanna use it. So going back to that propane example, there's a big 50-50 debate, should I drive with it on, should I drive with it off? Well, best practice, best practice, your, your, your RV industry veterans, your fire marshal bills, they're going to tell you, yes, turn it off. Turn it off, do not drive with the propane on, that is the safest thing to do. Well, of course, that's the safest thing to do. Now, what about the other people that live in it, that are full-timing it, that want to keep the fridge colder than the, the, the promise that Norcold or Dometic tells them that it'll be if they unplugged it and didn't run it with propane for a couple of hours? Those people are gonna tell you, ah, oh, we do it all the time. Well, here's the reality in this example. We're not having a massive epidemic of RVs catching on fire because people are driving with the propane on. It's just not happening. Has it happened? Yes. Could it happen to you? Yes. Could you prevent that by turning off the propane? Yes. Are there a lot of people that drive with the propane on? Yes. And that's up to you to decide what you're, what you're willing to do. But I find that if you're educated about why something is the way that it is, you get to decide. And that is why there's so much conflicting information out there is because some people do it this way, some people do it that way, and you're asking yourself, well, which one's the best way? 
I'm not gonna tell you which one is the best way unless there really is a best way, but even then I'm gonna tell you why and you get to decide. Is it best to drive with the propane on? Is it best to drive with it off? Your call. Now it's time to sit back and relax, enjoy the video series, and by the time we're done, you're gonna know everything that you need to know to get to the fun faster.